Well, uh, we've been honored to be have Windsor as the host city for the 67th reunion of the First Special Service Force Association. And so myself and Kathy Mochko cobbled together a program for a four-day event, uh, a Windsor experience. Uh, the, uh, we did a campaign for uh, sponsorships through various organizations and companies, and we have to thank them all because they came forward, the union and Nature's Fresh and uh, everybody, everybody. Okay, and it's such a long list. I can't, I can't acknowledge everybody, uh, but we've uh, been working on this for since last December, and uh, we tried to show our visitors and our guests what Windsor is really like. Uh, we provided tours for them to uh, CC Brand Center and Walkerville Brewery and Williston Manor and out to the airport for the Lancaster and uh, mosquito restorations and everything that's going on out there. We uh, engaged the Capitol Theater and the Windsor International Film Festival and we put a, uh, we got permission from United Artists to re-premiere the movie The Devil's Brigade which was originally Hollywood premiered here in 1968 at the old Vanity Theater. Uh, so we had that evening and then we had a meet and greet and we had some of the local establishments like the Kilt and Fiddle join us uh, in uh, fundraising for the wounded warriors and so on and then the Windsor, uh, the Capitol uh, theater and the Windsor Symphony Orchestra provided a, a an opening uh, with uh, an acknowledgement of the first special service force and the military members to go with their opening of the uh, Frank Sinatra season. Uh, we've had wonderful wonderful support from Caesars where they've hosted it, and it has just been a, a four day roller coaster. <laughs> you know, you, we we look at old gentlemen as you mentioned, and we forget that they were just teenagers. You know, you forget that they were right out of high school or didn't even finish high school and went off to the big adventure. Okay? And here they are now again in, in their 90s and another chapter is closing in our history. We're going to lose con a contact, physical connection to this era, not only with the first Special Service Force veterans, but all veterans of World War II. And so what we did last night is we brought together and had a huge dinner for veterans at Caesars to acknowledge everybody from Afghanistan to the Cold War, Vietnam, Korea, the whole bit. And so these gentlemen and this generation, which I call the greatest generation ever, we are in the luxury of what they provided us. Okay, today with freedom, with uh, economic activity, they came back from war, hung up their uniforms, went to school, started businesses, went back to the farm, raised families. And so everything that we have today is on the back of those and all the sacrifices that were made in World War II. And we can't forget that.